on Twitch or YouTube and then make sure in OBS that you're streaming and then go underneath the streaming button. What's happening guys, my name is Alex and welcome to the last OBS tutorial of today. In this video guys, I'm going to show you guys how to record and stream at the same time. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to smash the like button down below already. I'm going to show you guys, like I said, how to record and stream at the same time. I'm going to show you guys how to do that right now. So I would say, let's jump straight into the actual video. Alright guys, so now that we are in OBS, we're going to do... Um, first of all, we're going to preview our stream so we know that we are ready to do everything. So I'm just going to click on preview stream and as you guys can see it's all black because I didn't make any scenes yet That's the thing you want to do like you want to make everything you want to have like in the stream or your recording Make all the scenes all the sources and be able to like okay I'm completely ready now just to go live and, and stream I'm gonna let you guys do that for now and then you come back when you're finished um, so I, I, you can get you guys can turn off this video make everything how you like in OBS all the scenes all the sources the face scan the game face scan border everything then when you set that one and okay I'm ready and then then come back to this video but if you have already done that um, what we're going to do is always preview your stream to make sure like that everything is looking lo looking good you know that we don't miss any sources that are not like properly in the screen so because when you go live and there's something wrong you're, there are people going to see that on stream so don't do that so make sure everything is fine in the preview once you've done that you just want to click on stop preview and the next thing is you, that you want to do is really simple you just want to press on and guys i'm not going to stream anywhere because i'm making this video because i have to click on start streaming i'm not going to stream on any site not on you not on youtube not on twitch do nothing i'm just going to show you guys how to do it so if it, what you want to do is you want to click on start streaming and also at the bottom and then at the bottom guys you want to click on start recording as well and right now guys you see like start streaming i cannot start streaming because i don't have like a stream key but you guys know how it rolls just click on start streaming and then you're live and then make Make sure to also click on start recording and it's going to record the entire stream so that's how handy it is guys that's how you can record like and stream at the same time so what you can do is just go live on twitch or youtube and then make sure in obs that you're streaming and then go underneath the streaming button you just want to click on start recording and once you've done that when you're done streaming you just want to click on stop streaming and then you will also want to click on the right here stop recording and as you guys can see you are done recording you're done streaming well done and now you can just go ahead and you know go to the file to the left open recordings folder and as you guys can see we have our streams right here that you guys have done so once you've done streaming streaming or recording all the files will be um, like where you have saved the record like the, you know the streaming ones that's how you can stream on YouTube or like twitch or any site and you can just you know press start streaming and then just click also click on start recording and that's how simple it is guys it's it's not it's so easy that's how easy it is guys don't like don't ask me to how to make scenes and sources I have videos about that online this is just to show you guys how to start and how to start streaming and start recording at the same time so you can capture your streams to watch it back you know like when when you're done that's the same this guys and if you're doing a 24 hour live stream you can only record like the maximum is eight hours so if you're gonna calculate it you will have three stream files in total 8 16 24 so you can actually record eight hours straight and that's the maximum so you will have three files that are all you know eight hours long and that's basically how simple it is, guys. That's how you do it. It's so freaking simple, I know. And that's the end of the video. So that's how easy it is, guys. That's how you record and stream at the same time. So now you can just go ahead and stream. And then you can watch, like, the stream afterwards when you recorded it. Or you can upload it, your stream on, on like, for example, on YouTube. That's how simple it is, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to smash the like button down below for more videos. And also the subscribe button down below. Thank you so much for the continued support. I'll see you guys tomorrow for three awesome new videos. Two Stone of Vegas tutorials and one extra video. So thanks so much for watching. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. I'm gonna give you guys six tips for beginner drivers. My name's LTHH Official. As yeah. always. Yeah. And I upload one video every day of the week, except on Saturday and Sunday. I'm just gonna start streaming live. First question for today. So that's gonna be through this hall, it's gonna be pretty dark. So we have the door. Future your comment or your question. I'll see you guys in the next video.